so one of the last things that we've got to do on this uh, piece is there is a bolt hole about right in this area that we do have to have in the in the sheet so we're going to try to do an old trick to find that bolt hole or actually to mark that bolt hole I should say Matt at Matt's Off-Road Recovery, you'd appreciate this. <laughs> On all of his videos, he talks about people giving him... It's not really doing it. You're okay, Bandit. My dog hates pounding. The big one, he don't care. I'm laying down, I'm, I'm cool. But the rot, he don't like it at all. I should say rot mix. He doesn't like loud noises at all. Bull has gotten used to it. Bull, in the beginning when uh, he was a pup, fireworks went off and he was like a maniac running through the yard trying to find a place to hide. Now, it's like Pshaw. So let's see what we can probably do is put something in there like this bolt. Well, that one has tightened. I'll pull away the cardboard a little bit. Not that it's staying there very well anyway. We're going to put the bolt in the hole. Probably would be even easier to measure it out, but this makes it just as easy. And then make a mark where it is. Okay. And then when you look at the cardboard, you've got an outline of the bolt. So definitely helps. And we want it that big anyway. It's the size of the head of the bolt, but we've got a giant washer on there. So we've got plenty of room to move around. And there's shims and such that'll go in front of it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So that was the only hole we had to mark. Everything else is ready to go. There is the windshield vent, the spot where the vent's at underneath here. Um, we'll basically duplicate that onto this board, so we're good there. So let's move our cardboard over, our template over, and uh, start working on it over here. Okay, got a really rough edge on this side. It won't matter because it's going to be welded on anyways, but uh, you want to try to at least have a, a perfectly straight one. So let me grab my cardboard template and bring it over. Hoping I can get away with it on this side, and yes, I can. So we, this is the, the side of the metal that has never been cut, so we'll actually work from this side. There's a little bit of a bend here, but that's easy enough to straighten out. So just want to get this lined up perfectly straight along the bottom. And then remember that in, at, from this point here to this point here, there's a little bit of a rise. It's not much. It's only about an eighth of an inch, so I definitely want to make sure that I rise, bring a rise up on this. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make the mark from here over, and then I'll curve this just a tiny bit. Well, actually, I can do it right now. Curve this just a tiny bit to lift it that eighth of an inch. So right there is where we want to be. Okay, over on this side. Okay, there. Just basically wanna use some tape and just put it in place for now. So it kind of stays still. Let's 
So here's our new jigsaw, kind of slick. We're going a little bit farther than the than it will go. So we're just going to mark out our, our our metal, and then we're just going to cut it from there with with the new saw. And like I said, I'm going to be reviewing the saw at the same time I'm doing this. So bear with me on both counts. Just remember when you're doing your outline that you're going to be cutting inside the line. So from this line over to this other line, it's going to have a slight rise to it. We want to get that rise in there. Then we can mark for our bolt holes here in a minute. But it'll be really easy because our bolt holes marked. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's marked here on the on the template. So all we have to do once we cut this out is lay this on the template on the back side, punch a hole, and we're ready to go. So let's hit it with this. And like I say, I'm doing a review of this saw at the same time, so it might seem a little odd, but uh, those of you that are looking for a jigsaw and a replacement for your corded one, if you're in their club this weekend anyway, this only cost me $25. Um, of course, the battery cost you 39 but this cost less. Now, the tricky part here is going to be holding this in place while we cut it. Uh, so we'll have to get a couple clamps and clamp it to the to the table. Uh, we're okay on this side, so we can go as far as the end of this turn here, at least to get that done. So we'll do that first. And then we'll come to this side, we'll cut this side. Um, you, the reason you don't want to cut it this way first is because it gives you more metal to work with. You could do it like that. It's completely up to you and whatever makes your style or, you know, whatever floats your boat, I should say. But that's kind of how we're going to do it. So let's see how well it works. This over toward the edge a little more. Get that line on. And it's going to be a little bit rough because you're using the jigsaw, but you could use a plasma cutter, I guess, but I don't own one, so I kind of got to do with what I got to do. $25 is a lot cheaper than a plasma cutter. Let me go put this tool back so I don't need this. Not something you expect. Nah, that's going to be too heavy to go there, so I'm going to have to go this way first. And remember, we're cutting to the inside of the line. now is make a cut straight across edge there. As I say, this is a rough cut, so it doesn't have to be super precise. What I don't like is this was bending already. I was already putting the bend in the sheet metal, and we don't want that. That's the last thing we want. Now let's get our corner in there. And then we can start 
fixing it, I guess you'd say. So, let's see. Best way to do this. Maybe choose just like that. Uh, let me go the other, other way since I'm right handed. That way the whole thing's exposed to the opening so we can do it like that. So we can come at it from this side. Or if we can use it to hold it in place. And then also more here. And we're going to have to start a little farther back. Yeah. These are too big for that. Let's get our line started, then we can mess with it. Go like that. And then once we've got our line going, we can. I do like the laser. It definitely makes a big difference on your uh, on your lines. It's going to be tough because it's an edge. We'll have to come at it a little different. I'll go grab my tin snips and just snip that off. Gonna need these anyway for where we're going. And voila, there's our panel. As I was saying, we've got to uh, we've got to get that bolt hole in there. Okay, the last thing we want to do with this piece is get everything flattened out. And that's pretty easy. We're going to use our table to do that, um, mainly because it is a nice flat surface. Last thing we need to do is drill our hole for our body mount. So we're going to flip it over. This is the back side, remember. And then we want to grab our our template. I have a fine tip sharpie, which makes life wonderful. So you want to line up your edge and make your mark for your slot. And for this cut, I'm just going to use my tin snips. I'm not going to break out the saw. Normally when working with sheet metal, you definitely want to wear a pair of gloves because this stuff is sharp. One of the nice things about using the body hammer is it does take the sharp out of it. So we get my center punch and punch that hole, and then we can fit it up and see how it works. Now all we're going to do is dr drill a small hole in that, and that's to make sure that we're dead center on our target point. A very small hole will be really easy to weld right back up. So that definitely makes it a lot easier than trying to do it with a big one right off the bat. Let's go see how we did. Remember, this is that hole that we're 
making sure we get covered up. So as you can see, we are going to have to take a little bit out of here on this corner, which doesn't surprise me. But if we look all the way down the other side, we've got exactly what we want. Let's see how we did with our hole. Completely off the mark. We are too far, too high on the mark. Probably because we went from this edge down instead of that edge up. So, put this on here, like so. Yeah, see, it's farther down, it's right there. Other than that, we're right on the money. So I'll just fold that back up and uh, we'll put our hole where we need it, which is about, looks like right there. So we missed it by that much. So let me go get a magnet to hold this on. I've got them here somewhere. It's just a matter of finding them. The shavings off these magnets. Looks like it's going to be our ticket right there. I'm curious if I can get to that from behind. Grab my flashlight and see. Cannot get to it from down here. That would be too easy. Sorry to block you for a sec, but... It's upside, up inside the cowl here, so you can't get behind it to uh, to mark it. So probably the easiest thing to do is to mark a line, get the panel all lined up, like so. always come back with the fender. Once the fender's in place, we'll know exactly where that bolt hole is and we'll be able to put it in. So for now, I'm just going to knock this shut and we're going to go ahead and get this prepped to uh, weld well on the panel at least to uh, tack it on so that we can get it started. Um, that'll definitely get us, in, get us going in the right direction. I am going to have to clean up down here on this, uh, this bracket down here. It is a mess. Other than that, I think I got a clean little bit around here. But other than that, we're going to be pretty much ready to go. So yeah, I think the one thing that I'll say is, unless you got a precise measurement on this, don't drill it yet. Um, I am just going to tack this, tack, uh, bend this back in, and then just weld it shut. But uh, for the most part, the panel sits up a little bit more. It's just just like that. That'll allow us time to put some. Uh, Tack it up on here. We've got some weld through primer on it, so we're ready to go with that. Um, I do have to, to smooth out a few edges, and I have to clear out from behind it because there's still some of the insulation and all that kind of thing. I'm not going to make you hang around for that. I'll bring you back next time, and we'll be uh, starting to weld this sucker in place and uh, get everything going. I'm not going to make you watch me clean all this stuff up. There's a bunch of uh, insulation inside the firewall here from the old heater box and the, and the uh, engine cover. So uh, I'll go in there and be cleaning all that up. And then once that's all cleaned up, I'll bring you back and we'll weld on it and uh, get this piece in place. And that gets us one step closer to where we got to go to get this car finished up. With that, like, share, subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, or maybe you know a better method to uh, get this whole perfect, because I thought I did, but we uh, missed. You know, it's probably about right there. So if you have any any ideas, any comments, questions, if you've done this before, definitely shoot me a line. But with that, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.